Raise your hand, but I know you're out there. I got it. Let's extend abortion rights up until the kid is 18. I bet they'd behave a lot better. Son, one more time, and I'm going to abort you. <laughs> hey, teacher, where, where's Johnny today? Oh, he didn't do his homework yesterday, so his mommy aborted him. Hey, grades would skyrocket, wouldn't they? By the way, Peter Singer is pushing for abortion after the baby's born. He's trying to get legislation passed so you can kill the baby up to 28 days after it's born and still call it an abortion. Have you ever noticed the news media calls them pro-choice and they call guys like me anti-abortion? I'm not. They, they do that anti-abortion because it's a negative sounding term. Pro-choice is such a positive sounding term. How about let's call me pro-life and call them pro-death and we both get a positive sounding term. Hmm? That's why I refuse to take the paper. I just can't stand their liberal slant on everything. We get a call once in a while, hey, you want to take the Pensacola News Journal? I say, no, ma'am, we don't have a parakeet. <laughs> That's what I tell them. See, the media will ignore the wishes of the majority, and they're going to push their liberal agenda. We'll cover more on that on part five. Well, remember when the kids got shot in Colorado? Right away, they jumped on the gun control issue. You know, if kids keep getting shot in our schools, maybe it's time to consider some other issues, like uh, should we have public schools? Or maybe should we teach them evolution? Hmm? That's what did the Columbine shooting. Those kids were real strong believers in evolution. They made a videotape before the shooting. One of the boys said, he doesn't deserve the jaw evolution gave him. Look for his jaw. It won't be on his body. They were strong believers in evolution. They did the shooting on Hitler's birthday on purpose. They shot Isaiah Scholes just because he was black. Eric's t-shirt said, natural selection. And then Rosie O'Donnell said, see, we need more gun control. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. Blaming guns for Columbine is like blaming spoons for Rosie O'Donnell being fat. It's not the spoon's fault. It's not the gun's fault, okay? Maybe certain criminals ought to be publicly executed. Maybe that's time to think that one through one more time. Maybe all law-abiding citizens should be required to carry guns to protect themselves. Hmm? Suppose every teacher in the public school was required to be armed. Just, just suppose. How far down the hallway would those kids have gotten? Somebody sent me this button, proudly unarmed. Would you wear this? <laughs> what does this say to a criminal? <laughs> Rob me. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what it says? <laughs> of course. The Founding Fathers gave us the Second Amendment so we could keep and bear arms, and it wasn't so we could go duck hunting. The purpose of the Second Amendment was so we could defend ourselves if the government goes bad. Last-ditch defense against an evil government is an armed citizenry. You ever notice a lot of animals that eat grass have horns? Did you know you don't need horns to eat grass? The purpose of the horns is to explain to the lion, stay off my back. I just want to eat the grass, leave me alone. And I think everybody ought to be armed, not so we can hurt anybody, but just so we can explain to people, Leave me alone. Don't take my stuff. Don't break into my house. Don't steal my car. Don't come hurt my family. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> I probably waited too long. I didn't start my kids shooting until they were about three. I probably should have started about two, you know. <clears throat> Here's the logic they use to justify abortion. They're going to say, well, it's not human. Oh, brother. You're either dumb or you're lying. It's human at conception, okay? They're going to say, well, it's not viable. It can't live on its own. You're not viable st yourself stark naked on the North Pole, you know. <laughs> Can't live on its own. I know kids that are 25 that still come borrow money from Dad. <laughs> hey, Dad, can I borrow some money? <coughs> <laughs> you ought to be able to live on your own by now, son. <laughs> They're going to say the child may be unwanted. There's kids that are already born that are unwanted. My parents moved four times when I was growing up, but I found them every time. <laughs> They're going to say, well, the child may be unwanted. A lot of people are unwanted. Year after year, the number of people waiting to adopt is about equal to the number of abortions. The babies are not unwanted, okay? They're going to say, well, the child may be a financial burden. Show me a kid that's not. <laughs> Anybody got a kid that's not a financial burden? 
They're going to say it may be from rape or incest. Well, then you kill the rapist, not the baby. <laughs> Execute the rapist and adopt out the baby. It's not that complicated. Hey, did you know it's illegal to shoot deer at night with spotlights in just about every state? Is it illegal in Tennessee to shoot deer at night with spotlights? Yeah. Hmm? You've got to give them a sporting chance, right? Let's give the baby a sporting chance. Pass a law in Tennessee that says if a lady goes to have an abortion, the nurse will have a jar of marbles, and we're going to have a lottery, okay? One marble for baby, one for mother, and one for father. And one for doctor. And one for governor. And let's put several in there for the past president. And let's really have a choice. Hmm? Now, if he's not alive, uh, why is he growing? If he's not a human being, what kind of being is he anyway, huh? She says, honk if you're pro-choice. It's easy for her to be pro-choice. She's already been born. They say, well, abortion's legal. Well, that doesn't make it right. 1936, the German Supreme Court declared Jews in Germany are not persons. By the way, that word person is a very tricky word. You be real careful that you never answer a legal document. They say, are you the person responsible? Oh, no. A person is an artificial corporation. None of you are persons. That's a dangerous word. So is resident. That's a dangerous word. Where's your residence? Oh, I don't have a residence. I have a house. I don't have a residence. It's a legal term. Just watch for those. But 1936, the German Supreme Court said, I mean, the German Supreme Court said Jews are not persons. That opened the way to allow Hitler to kill the Jews. Six million, at least, Jews were killed. I read lots of books about Hitler. I've been to Germany a couple times. Hitler said, I have the right to exterminate an inferior race that breed like the vermin. Hitler thought the Jews were an inferior species. He said the Germans are the superior race that deserve to rule the world. Hitler was killing the Jews to make more living space for the Germans. He sought to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution. Hitler said, if you want these criminals, I'll send them to you on luxury ships. You know, in 1938, the Jews could have been saved, but America refused to take them. Every country but Sweden refused to take the Jews. Hitler's book and his mind was captivated by evolutionary thinking, probably since he was a boy. Evolutionary ideas lie at the basis of all that is worst in Mein Kampf. Hitler thought it was the duty of the strong to trample the weak. In his book, Hitler said, Nature does not desire the mating of weaker with stronger individuals, even less does she desire the blending of a higher with a lower race. Who's a higher race, Adolf? He kept talking about the mingling of Aryan blood all through his book. He talked about Aryan races, lower peoples. Well, I found Hitler's hit list. Hitler thought the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Norwegians were close to pure Aryan. He thought the Germans were mostly Aryan. The Mediterraneans are slightly Aryan. The Slavics are half Aryan, half ape. Orientals are slightly ape. Black Africans are mostly ape. And Jews are close to pure ape. Hitler killed the Jews to speed up the evolution process. Let's eliminate the inferiors. Anybody know where the Olympics were held in 1936? Berlin. Anybody know who won the most gold medals? Jesse Owens, the black American athlete. Hitler was so angry, he said, it's not fair to make my men race against this animal. Hitler said, I regard Christianity as the most fatal seductive lie that ever existed. Well, that's because he thought biological evolution would weed out the religion and be a weapon against religion because the Bible teaches all nations are of one blood. And if you think you are superior to somebody because of the color of your skin, number one, you're wrong. Number two, you're stupid. Okay, we cover on the, more on the races, and there's no such thing as races. It's just skin colors on video number seven. I stood in the courtroom in Nuremberg where they held the trial years ago. Those guys on trial said, we did nothing illegal. We were just obeying orders. Yeah, and they were found guilty. Anyway, weren't they? Now, the Supreme Court in America in 1973 said the word person does not include the unborn. That's the decision that opened the way now for 45 million babies to be killed in America. A thousand million, that's a billion worldwide. On September 11th, 2001, 3,000 Americans were killed by terrorists. We spent billions of dollars trying to hunt them down and kill them, right? You know what else happened September 11, 2001? 4,500 Americans were killed by abortionists. 50% more, and nobody said a word. The next day it happened again. 